Hey YouTubers. Now I haven't uh, shown you guys this yet, but I got this. I cleaned it. I gave it a good bath. I'm going to give it a second bath because it's still a little bit dirty. But it was really bad. I took the motor out of it. I just took it apart. I'm shocked. But look at the control arms. They were all dirty before. I cleaned them once. I give them a clean it again, and I'm probably going to bring them to work and give them a good buffing. they got buffers at work. I'll polish the bottom side of them and get them nice and shiny again. But I'm going to bring this sucker so it's looking good. Look at that. New chassis plates from Jenny's RC. One of the, I, they sell parts to two different um, Savages. This frame looked the closest to the one it had on it. Just the original one didn't have this color right here. So uh, if I remember correctly, I think that cutout is for, uh, it's either for the gas tank. I think it's for the gas tank, but it could be for the exhaust. I can't remember. It's for something. When I put it back together, I'll have to find pictures that I took of it and uh, I referenced them. But yeah, I'm just cleaning it and putting it all back together, and I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah, the motor. Took a pot, I cleaned it with some soap, just soap and water, just like hybrid says. Just soap and water, guys. That's what hybrid said to do, so that's what I did. So it looks good. Just gotta throw some oil in it now. Look down there. You see a little bit of. You can see it's been ran a couple times, but nothing bad. It doesn't look cooked, purple, or nothing like that. No scratches. Looks clean. Oh, yeah, she's clean. Look at that, guys. Put my finger in there. I cleaned it right up. Yeah, buddy. Hope you guys can see in there. Looks pretty good. You can see it around a couple times. Not much. This is... This thing's pretty fresh. So, I got to figure out something with the starter because uh, it has the auto the zipper starter, what we call that thing. It's made for one of those things. I don't got one. So, I got to either order a starter for it or I got to get a pull start. I think auto starter would be easier, but I heard that Right here, there it is. This sucker. Let's see. Chin. I forget, guys. I find all the pieces. I think they're in the sink. I was cleaning everything. I don't know. This is the pot. It was on the outside. All right, well, this is the motor. She looks pretty good. I'm going to friggin'. Forget how that goes together. Just a one-way battery right there. So yeah, let's. Uh, it should it should run. I think it's gonna run. I still don't have an igniter. So it's gonna be a while before I can get some spark to her, but we'll get there. We are still cleaning, but we're gonna get there. I got a new spur gear for it too. I bring this back and I get more done. All right, two is. I realize it's missing a rubber boot right here. Should be a rubber boot on this. Uh, slide choke here the slide for the uh, carburetor here that should be uh have a rubber boot on it i'm assuming the rubber boot will pour right over this end because it goes on there but i don't have one so i have to order one so that puts a delay in things so i guess we'll get back to this when we get a rubber boot for that carburetor i bet you the old one ripped or something that's why it wouldn't run because it must have just sat there's hardly any use on this engine. It looks pretty good and has a lot of compression, sickening compression. I was turning it over and it was tough to turn it over, so I'd say it was pretty sickening. I think she's a runner. But we gotta get that rubber boot. So as soon as we get that boot, we'll get her back in there and we'll be on our way. I'll stay confident but humble. Peace. Happy Fourth of July, everybody! Yoo-hoo! Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah buddy.